Thanks for staying with us. Fuel pumps running dry, essential commodities beyond the reach of the common man. A three-month economic blockade has paralyzed life across most parts of Manipur. The state capital, Imphal, is among the worst hit, with prices of basic food items going through the roof. Alok Pandey reports on the desperate times in Imphal. This is supposed to be one of Imphal's busiest petrol pumps in normal times. But at the moment, as you can see, this entire place is shut because over the last 10 or 15 days, there have been no stocks of either petrol or diesel here at this petrol pump. At the few petrol pumps in the city left with any stock, the scene almost resembles a war zone. At this petrol pump in the heart of the city, we found two kilometer long lines and people waiting for fuel since early morning. This has been the situation in Imphal over the last 88 days. Ever since a local organization demanding a separate district in the state imposed an economic blockade on the main highway connecting Imphal to Assam, hitting supplies in a big way. To make things worse, another organization against the district has imposed another blockade on the same road. It's not just fuel that is on fire. At the local vegetable market, basic goods like potatoes and onions are selling at a premium. Potatoes are being sold for 35 rupees a kilo and onions at 50 rupees a kilo. Retailers say new stock is not coming in, in spite of government opening an alternate route and providing security to trucks, bringing essential goods into the city. business hotel. <laughs> but with no breakthrough in sight and no hope of the blockade lifting anytime soon, it seems hard times are set to continue or even get worse in Imphal and across Manipur. With Sanjay Chakravarti and Alok Pandey in Imphal in New Delhi, Akash Das Gupta for NDTV. On to some international news now, Qantas Airways has grounded all its aircrafts globally due to an ongoing strike by workers. The flights will remain grounded until unions reach an agreement with the airline over pay and conditions. CEO Alan Joyce said that staff will not be required to show up at work and will not be paid from tomorrow onwards. The company is estimated to lose around $20 million per day for grounding the flights. And finally, the very mention of sub-registrar office usually conjures up an image of dusty files and serpentine queues. And yes, many believe even the need for speed money to get your work done. But that could soon change. In an exclusive interview to our executive editor English News, Sanjay Pinto, the Inspector General of Registration Tamil Nadu reveals that you will soon be able to fix appointments at these offices. Yes, we are shortly going to start with like uh, we have already given tokens to the people. We are issuing tokens to the people so that they can wait and token numbers are getting displayed. That is number one. Number two, we are also going to shortly introduce uh, online as the booking their timings for the registration. Mm -hmm. So they can book their slots. They, then they can come at that particular, top, uh, particular point of time. But you are giving people a useful tip. Those who don't believe in this auspicious and inauspicious time can actually come on Tuesdays and... Uh Fridays. Yeah, yeah. Tuesdays and Fridays, if they come, okay. really, uh, there won't be much of a rush. And you can watch that full interview on our show Corridors of Power that's coming up next and even on Sunday at 9.30 p.m. And that's all of the news tonight. Enjoy your Sunday. Good night.